Have you ever wondered about the effects of alcohol on your health and lifestyle? It's a question that many of us might not want to ponder on, but it's crucial to understand the reality of alcohol's impact. First, let's consider the physical toll. Alcohol can lead to serious health problems, including liver disease and heart conditions. These aren't minor issues, they're life-threatening conditions that can dramatically shorten your lifespan. Then, there's the impact on mental health. Alcohol can contribute to mental health disorders such as depression and anxiety, often leading to a vicious cycle of drinking to cope and then feeling worse. And let's not forget about lifestyle. Alcohol can erode relationships, hinder career progress, and even lead to legal troubles. It can change who you are and not for the better. Now that we've established the possible harm alcohol can cause, it's time to talk about how you can quit alcohol for good. The first step towards quitting alcohol is recognizing that you have a problem. Indeed, self-awareness is the cornerstone of any recovery journey. It is essential to be honest with ourselves and identify the signs of alcohol addiction. These signs may vary from person to person, but they typically include a strong craving for alcohol, the inability to limit drinking, neglecting responsibilities due to alcohol use, and experiencing withdrawal symptoms when not drinking. Sometimes, it's the subtle changes, missing out on important moments, the increasing frequency of hangovers, or the creeping sense that alcohol is taking a larger role in your life than you'd like. It's not always easy to admit that there's a problem, but remember, acknowledging the issue is not a sign of weakness, but rather a mark of strength. And if you're struggling to identify the signs, don't hesitate to seek professional help. Once you've recognized the problem, it's time to make a plan. A well-structured plan can guide you on the path to sobriety. And that's precisely what we're going to talk about in this segment. Taking the decision to quit alcohol is a significant first step, but without a clear practical plan to follow, it can be easy to lose sight of your goal. First things first, begin by setting realistic, achievable goals. Instead of vowing to quit alcohol cold turkey from day one, start by reducing your intake gradually. It's paramount to remember that it's not a race, but a journey towards a healthier lifestyle. You're not competing with anyone, but yourself. By setting goals that you can reach, you're preparing yourself for success, and each small victory will motivate you to keep going. Next, it's time to identify your triggers. Triggers are situations, people, or emotions that make you want to drink. It could be anything from stress at work, social gatherings, or even certain music or smells. By recognizing these triggers, you can start to develop strategies to avoid or cope with them without resorting to alcohol. And remember, it's perfectly okay to remove yourself from situations where you know you'll be tempted to drink. Now, let's talk about finding healthy alternatives. Alcohol often fills a certain role in our lives. It might be a way to relax, to socialize, or to escape from stress. Once you remove alcohol from the equation, it's important to replace it with healthier activities that fulfill the same role. This could be anything from taking up a new hobby, practicing mindfulness or meditation, or even just going for a walk. These alternatives not only distract you from cravings, but also contribute to your overall well-being. And lastly, write your plan down. Having a tangible, written plan can make your goals feel more real and attainable. It's a reminder of your commitment to yourself and your journey towards sobriety. With a solid plan in place, you're ready to take the next step, seeking support. Remember, you're not alone in this journey, and reaching out for help is a sign of strength, not weakness. In our next segment, we'll discuss how to find the support you need to overcome this challenge. Stay tuned. Support plays a crucial role in overcoming alcohol addiction. This statement underscores the power of companionship, empathy, and understanding in the journey towards sobriety. When you decide to quit alcohol, it's like stepping onto an unfamiliar path. It's a journey filled with challenges and hurdles, but you don't have to face them alone. Family and friends can provide the emotional bolster you need to keep going. They can offer encouragement, lend an understanding ear, or simply be there to share a cup of tea and a chat. The beauty of this support is its familiarity and consistency. It's the comfort of knowing that these are people who love you, who want the best for you, and are there for you, no matter what. 
Support groups, on the other hand, offer a different kind of reassurance. They provide a sense of community, a safe space where you can share your struggles and triumphs with others who truly understand. In these groups, you're not alone. You're part of a collective, a team of individuals all striving towards the same goal. The power of shared experiences can be incredibly affirming and motivating. However, let's not forget the importance of professional help. Therapists and counselors specialize in guiding individuals through the process of recovery. Their expertise can help you understand your addiction, identify triggers, and develop coping strategies. They can provide a structured approach to your journey, one that is backed by scientific knowledge and years of experience. But remember, it's not just about seeking help. It's also about being open to it. It's about understanding that it's okay to lean on others, to ask for help, to share your story. The journey to sobriety isn't a solitary one. It's a journey filled with connections, relationships, and shared experiences. It's a journey that's easier to navigate with support. So, surround yourself with people who inspire you, guide you, and support you. Seek out professionals who can provide guidance and structure. Engage with support groups that foster a sense of community. Support can make the journey to sobriety less daunting. But remember, it's also important to take care of your physical health. Quitting alcohol is not just about abstaining. It's also about taking care of your physical health. As you journey towards sobriety, your body will be in recovery mode, and it's essential to support it in every way possible. Let's start with nutrition. Alcohol can deplete your body of vital nutrients, so it's crucial to replenish these through a balanced diet. Try to fill your plate with a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. These foods are packed with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that can help repair the damage done by alcohol. Don't forget to drink plenty of water too. Hydration is key in flushing out toxins and promoting overall health. Next, let's talk about exercise. Regular physical activity can be a powerful tool in your sobriety toolbox. Not only does it help you feel better physically, but it can also boost your mood and reduce stress. You don't have to run a marathon or lift heavy weights to reap the benefits. Walking, yoga, or even dancing in your living room can do the trick. The important thing is to find a form of exercise you enjoy and make it a regular part of your routine. Lastly, let's not overlook the importance of sleep. Sleep is a time for your body to rest, repair, and recharge. When you're quitting alcohol, you might find your sleep patterns are disrupted. This is normal, but there are ways to improve your sleep hygiene. Try to stick to a regular sleep schedule, create a relaxing bedtime routine, and make your sleep environment as comfortable as possible. Remember, taking care of your physical health is not a race, but a journey. It's about making small, sustainable changes that add up over time. And it's okay if you stumble along the way. What matters is that you keep going, keep trying, and keep believing in yourself. Taking care of your physical health can make the process of quitting alcohol easier. But what about those inevitable cravings? Let's explore that in our next scene. Cravings are a normal part of the process, but there are ways to manage them. Now that we've established this fact, let's dive into some practical strategies that can help you navigate through the stormy seas of cravings. First, let's talk about distraction techniques. When a craving hits, it's like a wave. It builds, it peaks, and then it recedes. The trick is to ride it out without giving in. Distraction is a powerful tool in this regard. Engage in activities that take your mind off the craving. It could be anything from taking a walk, reading a book, or even playing a game. The key here is to shift your focus away from the craving, helping the wave to recede without pulling you under. Next, we have mindfulness. This is not about ignoring or suppressing your cravings, but rather observing them without judgment. It's about being present in the moment and acknowledging the craving for what it is, a temporary sensation. By doing this, you strip the craving of its power, making it easier to resist. Finally, there's self-care. This is a broad term, but in the context of managing cravings, it means taking care of your physical and mental health. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and ample sleep can reduce the intensity of cravings. Likewise, stress management techniques such as meditation or yoga can also be beneficial. 
When your body and mind are well taken care of, they are better equipped to resist cravings. Remember, it's okay to seek help. Reach out to a support network, a counselor, or a healthcare professional if you're struggling. You don't have to face these cravings alone. And above all, be patient with yourself. Quitting alcohol is a journey, not a sprint. It's normal to have ups and downs, and cravings are part of the process. But with each craving you resist, you're building resilience and moving one step closer to a healthier, hiddenly, alcohol-free life. Remember, cravings are temporary. They may be intense, but they will pass. With these strategies, you can overcome them and stay on the path to sobriety.